we're dealing with a death, a dead state, a deadness. So this pillow represents your mindset. And in a slumbered spirit, you, you do not have the mind of Christ. Everything is negative in your mindset. All right. I mean, you, you're not thinking, you're not acting on the things of Christ. And this is where I told you that the enemy wants to attack you first. Because if he gets in your mind, that he can get you to do anything that he wants you to do. That's right. That's that is where he will attack first. Yes. If you've pondered on it for a while, then eventually you're going to proceed with the action. And as I've heard this man say, if the heart and mind connect, you got a mighty fist. Whether it's good or bad, right. it's going forth. That's right. So this is where he wants to attack you in your mindset. If you notice, this is where you lay your head down. At night. And I want you to get this this um, this spiritual picture because I want you to remember every time you fall asleep, what what is happening in your life. I want you to get this picture of are you in spiritual slumber or are you spiritually awake? You need to get that understanding. So right now, this is your mindset. And your mind is is very negative. All you do is think on negative things, how you how you can't do this and how you won't do that, and you're you're looking at the bad things in your life. And that's the trick of the enemy. He wants to trick you and tell you you're nothing, you can't do nothing. Amen? Alright, so this uh, bottom sheet that I have on here, uh, well first the bed is, is your world, I told you that. Now this bottom sheet represents your sin your lust, your sinful nature. And it's everything that you want to do in the world. All fornication, adultery, envy, strife, all those things. And we know that the list goes on. Amen. But when you are covered in sin and lust, this is what you look like. It's that darkness. Now, this top sheet it's somewhat of a, a covering, and it represents darkness. So, if there is a body in the bed, which the body is just flesh, and this body thinks negatively, has a carnal mind. Has a carnal mind. My pillow is my carnal mind. I'm sitting in my world. I've exposed myself to all type of sin and lust. And when I do that, then I'm in darkness. And this is how I'm choosing to live my life. This is what you look like when you're spiritually slumbered. You're, you're walking in all types of sin and lust, and you're choosing, you're choosing darkness for your life. So you're in a dead state. Now, I know, like I said before, you're moving around, you look active, you look good, you smell good, people can see you, but you're actually dead. You're spiritually dead. Why? Because you've dibbed and dabbed in all types of sinful lust, and your, your sin state is creating a darkness for your life. So everything that you do, I mean, everything that is around you, everything that you're in is dead. You're in that dead nature. I mean, you are, your mindset is dead. When you're trying to think of the things of Christ and do the things of Christ, because what Paul was talking about, he was talking about the believers, and they're still in, they're still coming to church. We're still doing the things of God. We're still um, trying to operate in mighty acts, but we're spiritually slumbered when we're doing these things. So this is what we look now. You, if you could just envision this thing, if you can imagine people walking in the church looking like this, because this is really how we look if we're spiritually slumbered. Yes, we have confessed with our mouth and we believe in our heart that Jesus rose from the dead. We accepted Him into our life, but. Our Holy, our, the spirit that is within us has, has, has died. It has gone to sleep. Because 
we receive Christ, but we walk right back out of the door and we continue in our sinful nature. And guess what you start doing? You just wallow and you wallow in your in your mess and your your sin. You just wallow all in it and you turn in your sin. Amen. And all you're doing is creating more darkness for your life. That spiritual death. But guess what? We don't have to live like that. Amen? Because Christ has given us life. He already died for our sins. Amen? He didn't die so that you can wallow in your sinful state and stay there and be in a dead predicament. He didn't, he didn't die for you to do that. Amen? He wants you to have life. So, what you have to do is you have to confess your sins to him. First, you have to acknowledge them yeah. to yourself. Because I know some of you don't believe it, but you are in a dead state. Acknowledge that sin, confess it to him, and then he will clean, he will clean up your life. Yeah. First, he'll start with your mind. And notice that we have a white pillow here. Yeah. It's purified. It's cleansed. Amen. You have the mind of Christ. You're thinking in a Christ-like manner. He'll start with your mind. Because remember, that's where it all begins. In your mind. 